some of my very fondest memories were living out in uh, West Layton on Gentile Street. I actually rented a little farmhouse that had been converted into a duplex and I lived in the back of the house which was actually on the side of where all the cows and everything were. It was a farming community and I absolutely loved West Layton and the wonderful people there. Well, I always liked to be a prankster and uh, one night when I came home from work, I noticed that on the asphalt road on Gentile, there was a hole in the asphalt, just almost right by our little tiny farmhouse. Well, I parked my car and I walked out there and took a look at it and uh, lo and behold, it looked like a little baby sinkhole or a chuck hole, about so big. Anyway, I went and got my neighbor and uh, talked to my neighbor and said, you got to come see this. Well, uh, we went out there and looked and all of a sudden I got a great idea. I said, uh, how about we do something really funny? Okay, says the neighbor. I said, how about if I get you to lay down on the ground like a little body dead on there and I'll chalk it. You know, like when there's been a shooting or a, a, there's a body on the road and they chalk it out. Well, my neighbor said that'd be just fine. So I ran to my house and grabbed my chalk. I'm an artist, you know, so I always have some kind of chalk. Well, got my neighbor to lay down on the ground and my neighbor was a great body outline. Outlined all the way around my neighbor. And uh, when my neighbor stood up, I went, whoa, that looks really good. And I thought, this is going to be so funny. I could hardly wait. Well, we went our way. And uh, all night I was thinking, mm, wonder what's going to happen. Kept trying to keep a lookout out the window to see if I could see if there was any commotion. But it was West Layton. And it was a farming community. I'm pretty much by 7 o'clock. Everyone was home and everyone was off the road. Well, I was very disappointed because I really thought I'd get some funny reactions and I went to bed. Got up the next morning and sort of for, forgotten about the little prank that I'd done. And uh, grabbed my purse and headed out to my car to go to work. And as I walked out, I noticed there were a lot of vehicles. And then I noticed the vehicles were all police cars and there were a lot of police cars and there was yellow tape and everyone was standing around looking at the body chalk line. This is where all my courage leaves. I would never be a good thief because I'd melt under the first thing. I heard you just got in my car. I thought I've got to drive by that. I've got to look like I'm interested, but... You know, not too interested, like the person that burns the house down and comes back to watch. So I got my car, and I'm like driving, and like, ooh, wah -ha. They just waved me on. Well, I got to work, and I called my neighbor, and I said, whatever you do, neighbor, don't say a word. We could be in big trouble, because the police are there. They've got it taped off, and even the counties out there saw the sheriff's vehicle. Well, we were sworn to secrecy. In fact, we never talked about this for years. And when I told my neighbor I was going to tell the story, my neighbor freaked out and said, Don't use my name! The story of the chalk line and my silent neighbor. <laughs>